the question that we have been asked is, uh, let's say I raised an invoice, uh, you know, how do I uh, reverse that invoice? Uh, and in this tutorial, we'll show you how to reverse an invoice partially and fully. Now, for doing that, I'm going to do a couple of things. I have a few dockets here, uh, totaling up to 559.35. I'm also going to put one disbursements here. Let's say that was uh, like an application fee, right, for, uh, say, $70. And, you know, I'm going to put that in as well. And I'm going to raise an invoice first. First and foremost, yeah, let's raise an invoice and then see how we can actually uh, reverse it. So when you raise an invoice, as you know in ULaw, the amount of the invoice and all the dockets related to that invoice get locked. Uh, what I mean by that is, now if you go back to the matter event and you actually click on it, you can change everything, but you can't change that amount because it says it's, it's locked. Similarly, you know, in the disbursement as well, if you try and edit it, it does not allow you to actually change the amount. Now, how do you reverse this bill? To reverse the invoice, first thing you would do is you would click on the accounts menu. Once you click on the accounts menu, you become an administrator by clicking on action button, go to administrator and enable yourself as an administrator. Now, once you click on enable admin, you're now administrator, you go back to the matter, click on the action button, you see the bottom, a, 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 a clickable item called reverse invoice. So you can click on that. It will show you the invoice that you can actually reverse. And you say, I want to reverse that. What it'll do is it'll analyze the invoice and then tell you what you can reverse. Like for example, you can just reverse the disbursement portion. You can just reverse the legal fee. And let's do it one by one. So I want to reverse just the, uh, the, the legal fee. So you can do that. I'm reversing it and hit the reverse invoice button and it's reversed. Now I can again go ahead and now reverse uh, the disbursement or you can just leave it like that. Or if you come back later and if you actually now try to reverse, it will now tell you that the legal fee was already reversed. It's only the disbursements that you have left to reverse. And now you can click that one and reverse that as well. So you can do all these things only in admin menu and once you've completed the reversal, you see now it's put two new uh, re uh, you know, reversals, one for the legal fee and the other one as a reversal for the disbursements, and you're pretty much done. So again, if I go back to the action button, click on reverse invoice and now try to reverse, it'll tell me that both items, part of 2252 are now reversed. So to summarize, the way we reversed was, first we went to the accounts panel, clicked on the action, administrator and enabled ourselves. Now I'm disabling myself. I enabled myself. I came back and then clicked on the action button and I clicked on the reverse invoice. Now that I've disabled, if you actually click here, it'll say admin mode, not enabled.